welcome back to my channel. This is the most excited I've ever been about a video and probably will ever be about a video because it's about my favorite things, Halloween and fall. So I have a fall clothing haul and then some Halloween favorites. So I'm just really pumped. I've been in full fall and Halloween mode since September 1st and probably a little bit before that. And now that it's October, I'm kind of sad that it's October because that means October is going to end. Like, ugh, I don't want it to end. I want to live in an eternal October. I have a bunch of fall stuff that I'm going to show you and I'm really jazzed and let's just get to it. So the first few things are from the website Unique Vintage and they do carry plus size. I saw Rosie Beam wearing this shirt and I was like, I have to have it. And then I found it on Unique Vintage and it was like $32 and knowing me and how cheap I am, like, would I ever pay more than $10 for a shirt? Not really, but I really wanted this and I did find a similar one on like Amazon for like $20 but then I was like let me go straight to the source and I wanted a few other shirts from Unique Vintage anyways so I made a little splurge. This was definitely a splurge haul. So the first shirt is this black flame candle shirt and this is perfect because I'm going to Salem in a couple days so this is definitely gonna be not even an option. This is definitely happening in Salem. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to stand outside of Max's house and all throughout Salem. And I'm just really jazzed about it. So it has obviously the black flame candle and like the flickering light around it. And then Binx's face in the shadows. And then the two brooms in the vacuum. It's like the perfect Hocus Pocus shirt without being overly Hocus Pocus. Because the friend I'm going with did get us Sanderson sister shirts. And I'm, I'm jazzed about that too. But there's a lot going on in those shirts. This is just kitschy enough. And I can wear this throughout the month. And I will be wearing this throughout the month. So this I'm so excited about. So I had never ordered from Unique Vintage before. And I did want to know a lot about the fit. Because you don't want to order something, have it not fit, and then have to go through the trouble of like sending it back, maybe getting a replacement. Like it's a lot. So um, I'm usually a 1X in everything and then an occasional 2X if a, um, someone says to size up, I'll get a 2X. Luckily on their website, there was a ton of reviews for each item and they all said to size up at least two sizes. Like they were like, this is going to be a very snug fit. So I usually wear a 1X. I got this in a 3X. This fits really well. There's um, another shirt I'm going to show you in a second. That one has a more fitted, like feminine fit. This one is still pretty... Um, you know, form, not form fitting. This wasn't loose. For a 3X, I was expecting to be like swimming in it. This fits me very well, but it's definitely more of a relaxed fit than the shirt you're about to see after this because that one is very form fitting. But this one, you know, fits me very well. So I'm a 1X. As always, I'm going to leave my measurements down below and I got the 3X and you're going to see how it fits me. Um, so just keep that in mind. So you're definitely going to have to size up and I'm really happy I did because I love this so much. And like I said, this one was probably $32. They were doing some kind of give your email, you'll get 10% off and 10% to me isn't a lot. I was like, anything I can get. So I think whole shebang at Unique Vintage was around $50, which not that bad. Um, I do have, I had like six shirts in my cart and I'm just going to wait till like after Halloween. Hopefully those, the other four go on some kind of super sale. So I have them for next year, but this one I needed and I needed it now. And then this other one, I decided to get two cause I was like, if I'm spending this money, let's just go all out. I just love the little scene on this. The other ones in my cart were very similar to this, like vintage pinup, witchy. I just love this so much. So as I said, it's a vintage pinup, which um, with a pumpkin and a cat. I love this so much. It's just like, like she has huge tits. Like it's just like up my alley, you know? <laughs> so I just really like that. Like, you know, like a sexy witch. Like I think I'm not sexy at all, but that's, you know, the vibe. You know I love a witch. I think I stress that enough here. I love witchy vibes. So I just thought it was cool that she's just like this badass witch, you know? So I picked this one up. This one I think was $26. So a little bit cheaper than the Black Flame Candle shirt. This one definitely has more of a fitted, there's definitely a name for this kind of fit, but a more fitted fit. I know words. This one I also got in a 3X um, and it definitely just hugs my curves. 
I did want to size up in the more graphic kind of shirts because my boobs like really stretch things out. Oh my god, look how fat she got when I did that. Like my boobs really stretch things out. So I didn't want it to be like comically stretched out. And my whole plan was to wear these with my skirts. Um, in the try-on, I wore them with my Nordstrom corduroy brownish skirt it looked so cute so that was my plan anyways like a very fall look um, but the length on these is really great goes over my hips it's not like a cropped tight t-shirt like no one wants that you're not gonna be pulling on it all day so if you wanted to wear this shirt with jeans that totally flies it's long enough very comfy so Another shirt I'm super jazzed about. Okay, so Unique Vintage also had a ton of fun purses, like a book of spells, but it was also a purse, and like a pumpkin that was also a purse. And I could not stop thinking about this pumpkin purse. And it was $36 on their website, and I was like, for something I can only use for a month, and I will be wearing this every day this month. I still couldn't justify doing $36 on like a tchotchke item. So I searched high and low. I literally had a spreadsheet of all the other websites I could have gotten this purse at and I was doing the math with shipping and discounts. And then I finally found the place where I can get this purse the cheapest. So I ended up getting the pumpkin purse and I got it from HalloweenCostumes.com. It was again, give your email, you get 20% off your first order. And I found some kind of free shipping thing on Rakuten. So. I now own the pumpkin purse. This is the exact same one from Unique Vintage. So if you're needing to hit a shipping minimum on Unique Vintage, you can get it from there as well. But I'm cheap and I shopped around. On one side, it is super glittery. And then on the other side, just the eyes are glittery. So I thought that was cute. You know, you can flip it over, um, whatever, how glitzy you wanna be. And then it comes with the orange strap. I feel like I saw another one with the black strap, but I like the orange. I think it just like flows better. And this was surprisingly big. Like it is bigger than my big face. I was expecting it to be like maybe half the size, like a cute little pouch, like maybe put your phone and wallet in there. I'm like, I'm wearing this to Salem. So I'm like, I can fit my vlog camera in here. So that's really exciting. So a lot bigger than it looks in the pictures and I'm very happy about that. Um, plus also just on a plus size body, a tiny purse I feel just makes you look fatter. So I like that this balances out my body kind of. So I'm just hype I got this pumpkin purse. This I think total was 30 which again is still less than I would have paid even with my 10% off at Unique Vintage. Um, still a lot more than I should be paying for a purse because I'm so cheap, like why? But like I said, I love Halloween. When I see a pumpkin, I'm like, fuck me up. So it had to happen. And I'll be wearing this for every October for years to come. And then another thing I saw on Unique Vintage was this candy corn cardigan. It was orange, yellow, and white. And it was kind of oversized. It looked really cozy. And uh, again, something that's just so up my alley. I love wearing orange in the fall. Who doesn't? But it was $48. And again, spending that much on something I'm only going to wear for the month. Because if it was just orange, yes, I can wear it into, you know, November. But it was very much a candy corn sweater. So in my mind, I couldn't justify it. Again, if it goes on sale, yes, I will be scooping it up, but I could not justify spending 50-ish dollars on um, another kitschy item. So I went to Shein and I was like, is there anything similar here? And I think I got pretty close. It doesn't have the yellow in it, but it is, you know, striped and orange. So I picked up this orange and black and white cardigan, if I can freaking find the top, cardigan. <laughs> so this one I think I got in a 2X and you know what? I wish I went bigger. I wanted a really slouchy, oversized, kind of like you're just wearing a blanket kind of cardigan. And this one just fits me regularly. It definitely, you know, I can't close it like a blanket yet, like I used to do in my office with all my big sweaters. Um, but it'll hang on me nicely. This I'm gonna be wearing, you know, at a pumpkin patch. You know, I already have, I, it's already envisioned in my mind me holding a pumpkin while wearing this, you know, you know. Will it come to fruition? Probably not. But I will wear this to a pumpkin patch. And it's just like perfect for fall. 
Um, if you have an office job and you can't really dress up for Halloween, but you still want to be festive, I think throwing this on for Halloween is a great option. And again, it's not over the top Halloween. It's definitely just more fall. So this can go into November and then next year you could pop it out in September if it's not blazingly hot like it is right now. And this one, I used the Shan 15. I used my own code on this. And then one of you told me that on Sundays they usually run free shipping. So I waited till a Sunday. I used Rakuten for 10% back and I used my code Shan 15 for 15% off. So I really hacked the system for this sweater. Okay. So that's all the clothing that I got for fall and Halloween. I didn't go buck wild, but I still spent a lot more than I should have. Um, and now I just want to show you a few fall favorites slash decor slash movies because this is all about Halloween and fall and I have a pumpkin boner right now. Anyways, so I hauled this in a vlog maybe a month ago. If you don't watch my vlogs, but you are watching this, this is the first time you're seeing it. I got this for three bucks at Marshall's. I try not to go to Marshall's because I will, you know, it's just like spending triggers, but I wanted to get a few items for Halloween and I gave myself a $20 limit on Halloween decor and I think, you know, that's a fair limit. You know, to not go crazy, but sometimes you do want something dumb and festive. So I picked this up, it says trick or treat yourself cute, dumb. I fucking love it. And some other things I got at Marshall's are this little happy harvest sign. I think it's perfect for fall. Again, it's not in your face Halloween, but you can pop it out in September and then leave it till probably the holidays, you know? So it's just like perfect for fall. And I just love the color scheme on that. And then I got the Harvest Leaves candle. This was also from Marshall's. This smells exactly like Bath and Body Works leaves, but it's a fraction of the price. I think this was around $6. And then finally, home decor wise, I switched out my yellow and pink dollar store flowers for orange, red, and yellow dollar store flowers. So I had seen this color scheme at Michael's and they do run good sales, but I was not about to spend $16 on fake flowers. So I took a picture of what I wanted and then I went to the dollar store and I found something very similar. And then I swapped out the flowers I usually have in my also a dollar store vase and put in the more festive colored ones. And I really love how that looks. So I spent $4 total on that little bouquet and it really makes a difference fall decor wise. So those are my fall decor things. I just have a few more things to show you and then we have a giveaway. All right, so two other things that make me feel really festive and literally once the clock hit October 1st, I was like, boom, right on my bathroom counter. So this is Bath & Body Works Crisp Morning Air Foaming Soap. Oh, you open this and you're like, September or now October. We were finishing another one up in September, but like this smells like the perfect fall morning. So I stand this. I'm gonna buy a few more so I can have it throughout the year. It's just like so crisp and refreshing love this and then there's vampire blood which i've been a stand for for like a year now it's just really sweet smelling and it's halloween kitschy so this one's more fall this one's more halloween and i love them both all right as i continue to ramble it is currently october 1st i'm gonna put this up tomorrow october 2nd but I'm in the zone Halloween movie wise. So I feel like there's Halloween movies and then there's horror movies. And I like to watch horror movies throughout the month, but I have to, like it's a must watch certain Halloween, in like general Halloween movies to get me in the mood. So I have three in my hands and my prehistoric ass still uses DVDs. So obviously we got Hocus Pocus first. Um, like I said, I own this, it was five bucks from Target, but it is on every day on Freeform slash ABC Family. So there's no way you can miss it. Also what I love, last time I was in Salem, they play this movie every night in October in the park right outside Max and Allison's school. Um, so I'm gonna drag my friend to that when we go next weekend. But this, this is a staple. They replayed this in the movie theaters last year on a Tuesday, and I still paid the 10 bucks to go see this in the movie theater, even though it is in my hand right now. I had to get the theater experience. So another one, you might not be super familiar with it, but like it, it just reminds me of my childhood and Halloween. This is a three pack I got from Target, but it is Ernest Scared Stupid, the one in the middle. Um, he brings to life a troll. My sister and I always quote Ernest Scared Stupid and no one ever knows what we're talking about, but Ernest Scared Stupid is the perfect get you in the mood for Halloween stupid movie. I love it so much. I sure hope you're from Keebler. And then another one, this is like a cult classic. 
Um, this is Trick or Treat and it's like ugh, anthology, not anthology, oh, I, I forget the word, but four separate stories and they kind of intertwine and they're genuinely scary and good and they just really put you in the perfect Halloween mood. I always watch this on Halloween night. Um, I'm probably gonna watch it maybe tonight or tomorrow just to like start my month off right and then like close it out with this too. This is like the perfect Halloween movie. And I'm also gonna be watching all of Freeform, all of Sci-Fi Channel, and even the Hallmark Harvest movies. Ooh, I have like a fall boner right now. It's crazy, I love fall. Get you some of these. Also, Mary Kate Nashie's Double Double Toil and Trouble. So good. It was on Hulu. I don't know if it still is. It might be on Amazon Prime, but if you can find that, watch that one too. There's definitely a bootleg on YouTube, actually. I was gonna talk about all the fall activities I wanna do and then do a genius segue into, and you know how I'm gonna do that? with my planner and like show you all the things I'm doing. Um, but I've rambled on long enough, but I have tons of fall stuff going on. I'm going to Salem, I'm going to Sleepy Hollow twice, um, pumpkin picking, apple picking, football games, all that stuff. So luckily I have my little planner. It's not even like half filled in right now to kind of guide me throughout my Halloween and October stuff. like. I've got a Hocus Pocus trivia going on um, towards the end of the month. I'm souped about that. So I will be giving away one of these planners. They are completely customizable. So these are from personalplanner.com. This is my third planner from Personal Planner. I genuinely love them. I get them on my own. So my other two have been the bigger books. I, I hauled this um, earlier in the year when I actually got it. And I made the mistake when I ordered this and I got the small one and now I can't see myself going back to the big one. I love the small one. It fits in my purse. It's not as, you know, cumbersome as the big one, although I did love the big one. And you can completely customize this. Like mine's kind of just girly, but you can, you know, a picture of your kids, a picture of your cat, you know, you can customize the front and back images and then the insides how you want your day set up. Like if you have nothing going on on the weekends, you can make them like super small and make the days of the week even bigger, you know, write in your work stuff, your meeting stuff. And I just love a month at a glance. Like that is what I use for the most part just to see where I'm going. Okay, I was talking about fall and Halloween too much that my memory card ran out. Anyways, as I was saying, I love like a month at a glance like just to have my general ideas of where my day is going and then having these to really fill out the details of exactly how my day is going. And I freelance, so I like putting my hours in here too, just as a backup of when I invoice people. And like I said, you can get the big one. I got the small one by accident and it was a happy accident. So we are giving away a gift card to personalplanner.com where you can get your full planner, completely customized by you, all the colors, all the pictures that you want. So to enter, all you have to do is tell me your favorite Halloween costume or the Halloween costume you're gonna wear this year. So your favorite of all time, could be from when you were a kid, could be from last year. I'm gonna show you my favorite in a second, um, but just let me know your favorite Halloween costume down below. So that's it, easy enter. I love Halloween, it's my favorite holiday, so I just love hearing about your costumes, kinda gives me ideas. So my favorite costume ever, was Romy Michelle, and I used to work in fashion, so I had one of the seamstresses at work make me this dress. So it is perfect, it's like the exact fabric. I just love this so much. I did a little bit, um, parts of it, like I ironed this on, so you can see it's kind of falling off, but she made the actual body of this dress because it is basically impossible to find a Romy Michelle dress, especially in plus size. So I just had her make it, and she made my friends too, and it was just so good. So good. So this was my all-time favorite Halloween costume. So let me know yours down below, and then you can enter and win a gift card for a planner. But besides the planner giveaway entry, let me know your favorite fall activities like hay rides, haunted stuff. Let me know that too. Just I just love hearing about it. I really, really do. It makes me so excited. So let me know your favorite fall stuff, your favorite costumes. Just let me know all about you. So clearly I am hyped about fall and October and Halloween. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all the links down below for everything I got. Thank you so much for letting me ramble on about Halloween for 20-ish minutes. I don't know how to end a video. Ooh, I want to say something like from a movie. Fuck. I do have a Halloween costumes video coming up next Wednesday, so stick around for that, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.